Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Code Stinger Domain to Verso. Before we start, hurry up and check out this offer just under this video. So, connecting your hosting or domain to Versal is actually pretty simple. So, first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and just go to Hostinger here. And you want to go to Domains, click on Domain Portfolio, and access your domain here. Let's go and click Manage. Now, also, you may want to copy your actual domain here. But once you've done that, let's go and click on the NIST, the slash name service at the dev side here. And we are now good. So next is you want to access your Versal account. So go to Versal.com, log in, and access your project that you want to connect your uh, domain. Now, from here at the very top, you want to click on Settings. And from here, you want to go ahead and just click on the Domains option here. So once you've added that, what we need to do is we want to go ahead and just start adding your domain. So in this case, uh, there are going to be some information here. So you can set up redirects to another domain here. Additionally, you can associate domain with particular Git uh, branch. But yeah, let's go and click on Add here. And let's go ahead and add our domain. So let's just paste the domain that we just copied. Choose the production or preview, whichever environment you want to uh, add here. And you can just choose the redirect option here. But by the way, if you are not familiar yet, so redirect this domain to a different domain, domains added to your, uh, in this case, your project will show up in the list. So in this case, uh, you are able to direct this domain to a different domain. So yeah, if you don't, if you don't want to use that redirection, you can just leave this empty. Just click on add domain. Now you have the option here or three options. You have add default domain, which is the recomm recommended option here, but I would recommend you to use the very first one, which is the recommended option here, and just click on add at the bottom right. Now from here, it's going to say move domains, domains is already associated with another project. So in this case, if you do have that other project, you may uh, have to move it. So in this case, just move your domain here. Now from here, we should now have the option to change a few things. So in this case, we need to add records here. So in this case, uh, first record is going to be the A record and the C name record. So what you need to do is just follow the following uh, instructions. Let's go back into our uh, hosting account. And in here, by default, you should have already have the option here for your uh, C name. So if you do see a C name record here, you may need to delete that. So yeah, let's go back in here. Let's go and copy the name for it, uh, at, and uh, it's going to be at this already added here. Let's go and copy the value for it, and just paste it into here. Just click on add record, and from here, it's going to say additional records are uh, added here. So in this case, let's go cancel this one. So if there are a records, you may need, and again, you may need to delete that into the hosting area here. But once it's deleted, it's going to click on add record, and it should be added in here. So yeah, so it should be added as you can see right now. Let's go ahead and add our scene record, scene name. The name is going to be www. Go back in here. Let's go and copy our uh, scene name value. Go back in here. Copy our target. And remove the dot at the very end. Click on add record. Now, in this case, once your records has been added, you go back into uh, your account here. So the thing with this one is you can go ahead and just click on refresh. So the refresh uh, process may take around like 24 to 48 hours to complete. So typically speaking, you just need to wait for it to uh, be verified. As you can see, it's now verified, but sometimes it might take uh, more time for the verification to complete. So just wait for it. But from here on, you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.